right now, there's a lot of emotional outrage uh, that's, that's happening. And what human beings will do is what they do best, survive. So yeah. we will survive it, and we will be better for it, and we'll evolve through it. But right now, it is a mess. It's a mess. And hopefully, I think, you know, let's fast forward a decade from now. I think looking back in hindsight, we realize how detrimental for the psychology of human social media is and will yes. become to a greater degree. And I think in the future, a lot of new startups and companies, or there's going to be movements of like minimizing tech exposure, minimizing who was it? it was on, I think it was Eric, was it Eric Weinstein? He was on Joe Rogan's podcast. No, it wasn't. No, it was Jonathan. Uh, what was his last name again? Jonathan. Uh, hey, he was just on. Uh, yeah, it was him. He was talking about the correlation of uh, young female suicide rates. And when, when, when Facebook just started to kind of explode in popularity in 2012 and 2013, and how it's extremely detrimental. And I'm like, I agree. I'm like, think about it. It's like you have all these social cues, social pressure, cognitive biases being bombarded on you on a 24-7 basis, and your dopamine's getting hit, your serotonin's getting hit. No fucking shit, your brain's gonna be whacked. Yeah, yeah. It you know, it isn't good. Um, you know, I was in the airport not long ago, and there was a poster in a frame behind glass uh, in one of the hallways leading out of the terminal. And it was a dentine commercial. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. <laughs> um, and it had a woman kind of leaning into the open door of a taxi cab in the back, whispering in a male in the guy's ear. And at the bottom, it said the original instant message. <laughs> um, and it, when I, I get like choked up when I read it, when I saw that, and I'm like, oh my God, remember, remember that? Like society is so different right now. Like, Think about touching, right? Just just human touch. You go into the bathroom at the airport. You don't touch the faucet. You don't touch the toilet. You don't touch the paper towels. Yes. You don't touch anything. Everything's automatic, right? So we're getting more and more touchless. Like, I know they tried to enact a law in Massachusetts where it was against the law to sit on Santa's lap. Really? Uh, yeah, because they're ready, worried about lawsuits. Yeah, I get it. They have to wiggle the wrong way. I don't know. Um but these different things that are happening um, at work, no hugging, um, no touching. Done. So what happens is when you don't allow meaningful touch, which is a human fundamental or axiomatic element for the brain, then you're going to create people who touch wrong. Yeah. Or you create like schizophrenic. Cra- All or touching crack goes nuts. Yeah. It goes crazy. So the very thing you're trying to prevent, you create. Um, I don't know if you remember this when the shuttle, the original shuttle blew up. What is it? 1986, 87, 88. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. And the school teacher, um, Michael Smith was one of the pilots um, and the shuttle exploded. I watched it. I was in living in Florida uh, when it happened. And um, I think it was 1990 when they found the recorder. Um uh, from the shuttle disaster and they listened to it and there was a spot on there where right before the explosion like six seconds I believe it was before the explosion I think it was Michael Smith said uh oh um, uh, meaning they knew it was going to happen and then you could hear a faint whisper in the background somebody say give me your hand like so here we got a bunch of smart people because you're not stupid if you're in the shuttle yeah um in the shuttle, and when it came down to like this life or death, worst moment imaginable, someone decides to touch somebody. Not say anything. Just hold a hand, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, think about that. Like, that's how humans are wired for deep, meaningful communication and touch. So this whole social media thing, again, it's it's come on strong. It is what it is, but it's going, we're going to find out all the terrible things and then you're right. Normal people that have common sense will begin to like, you know what? We're pulling back. Like already right now, you go to certain masterminds. You got to put your phone in a box. Like you can't even have it. Like because they've learned before anybody else. Uh, because they're all thinkers. Like that don't work. And we're not going to be present if we've got the phone. Mm-hmm. Um, and so Simon Sinek, you know, he's talking about some of these things. Um, but the, the, we're figuring it out, but we're learning right now. We're learning what not to do right now. That's where we're at. 